be nice. Well, as folks along the East Coast prepare for the arrival of Hurricane Florence, Western New Yorkers are preparing to lend a helping hand. Eight Days of Hope is a Mississippi-based Christian nonprofit that now calls Western New York its home. That's right, and a Buffalo native started the organization after Hurricane Katrina hit in 2005. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore introduces us to the man behind the mission of hope and recovery. Sometimes I don't think I'm really worthy to even doing what I do. We'll take that one, we'll take this one. 69-year-old Bruce McQueen is a volunteer with Eight Days of Hope. The retired Chittawaga trucker and cancer survivor is among hundreds of volunteers suiting up to help with Hurricane Florence relief efforts. God placed me in a situation where I can be a blessing like this and uh, I wouldn't trade this for the world. Eight Days of Hope is a Christian nonprofit organization based in Mississippi, with several branches located across the country and here in Western New York. The group goes to areas impacted by natural disasters to help people rebuild. Buffalo native Steve Tiber created the organization following Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Now his rapid response team is heading south. We have our power washers, our compressors, we have our chainsaws. This is going to be an epic storm. Tiber says volunteers will head to impact areas hours after the storm hits. Crews are expected to be hard at work for the next six to eight weeks. Volunteers like McQueen are preparing by loading up these trailers. This is one of the trailers volunteers have loaded up with dehumidifiers and fans, all to bring hope to those impacted by the storm. So based on what we're seeing and the populations that's in that, in that area, uh, this could be a top three no, no less than a number four storm of all time. We just want to bring God's love. Eight Days of Hope will start accepting hurricane relief donations this Saturday at its location on Kensington Avenue on Buffalo's east side. Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.